Hey, what's up, guys? My name's John. Welcome to Daily Theology. Glad you're here. Today, uh, there's news about James McDonald. Now, this is a crazy story. Let me give you some of the background. I've got quite a bit here. McDonald reportedly asked a man named Booker if he would be willing to take Tony out. Booker reportedly responded, are you asking me what I think you're asking me? It was then McDonald confirmed his request and told him with his background as a combat Marine veteran, it shouldn't be too hard to kill Groves and get away with it. I was scared, but Lieutenant Dan, he was mad. Booker said, he replied, absolutely not. Why are we having this conversation? And we're not talking about this ever again. Mueller confirmed that he filed a report with the police where he lives in Wilmette, Illinois on Thursday. And he said he's terrified of McDonald, who he believes is dangerous and may be targeting him since filing the report. Police have increased patrols around his house. Well, he's also hired private security. So this is McDonald, supposedly a pastor, uh, making these threats. The case went on and it got ugly with the church, as you can imagine, when you make uh, threats like this. Uh, the insurance company, though, is paying McDonald $1.2 million and uh, agreed to transfer a private parcel of property adjacent to the Crystal Lake campus, uh, which belonged to the Walk in the Word ministry. He's also the beneficiary of other compensation, deferred compensation, and a $250,000 cash reimbursement that was promised to him prior to 2019 in connection with the sale of his prior home. Now, all of this, to me, is just insane. Do you see the Apostle Paul getting a $1.2 million settlement? Do you see the Apostle Paul doing any of these things? Where is this in the Bible? And he's going to try to continue in ministry. Now, whatever the actual facts of the case were regarding the hit, uh, this all seems pretty clear to, to just avoid James McDonald. If you're not made up on this, if you hear him on the radio, I would recommend not listening to him. I would recommend avoiding him and researching more uh, about this case for yourself because this is crazy. And the fact that uh, the settlements involve such large numbers, it was a huge church, but again, it shows what is the motive behind some of these ministries. I mean, do you really need $2 million in assets from a radio program you started while supposedly advancing the gospel? What does that have to do with anything? Uh, I think it, it really, to me, um, puts James McDonald in a worse light than before, and he appears to be disqualified from ministry. We'll try to find out more facts on this case, but I just want to encourage you to, uh, to be careful about the people that you listen to. If you're not connected to a strong local church with a pastor that knows you, then uh, you are not in a good place. Don't count on people like James McDonald or radio people to be your pastors. You need a strong local church that knows you, that you're in community, with. And if you have not yet, please repent and believe the gospel because there is coming a day that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Thanks for watching and remember to hammer that like button, click the 95 theses, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. It will help us reach more people. God bless.